Oh, hi. <laughs> that was so weird. Glastonbury. Glastonbury. Hello, Glastonbury. We needed to pick up a parcel. For some reason, we vinted when I get a return on vinted and I accept the return out of the discretion of my kind heart. Then the they don't even bother trying to deliver it to our home. They take it to Glastonbury yeah, it's a, it's like and a, drop it off for a, a convenience store. Which is not convenient at all because yeah. we like we live we like 23 live miles from there, maybe more. Anyway, get ready. Hang on, um, I, I I gotta I gotta just you know you gotta just wait and see. This is glass though. Yeah, yeah, that's a parrot, guys. That's a parrot. That's what Glastonbury people do. Um, interesting about that parrot though. It was a um, very nice parrot. It, he was telling the story. Of the I parrot. want I wanted to squat. Yeah, he was he was loving every second of the parrot attention. These are some I I can't pronounce the brand, but we do do a mini haul at the end of this video. So enjoy that. What are they call Chimiari. The well, we also have the logos up. Chai Mara. Yeah. Oh, anyway, we paid eight pounds seventy five, and the last pair we sold for one hundred and ten. Um. So and they were closed shoe like a uh, closed toe like booty. Yep. So we'd hope for at least one hundred ninety to one hundred on those ones. This is something that I uh, I want to kind of talk about the video if if you've seen the thumbnail and the title. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go well, ahead, sir. Uh, These are some Saint Laurent trousers. They are. Up. They are coming up very soon. What I want you guys Spoiler. to note. Yeah, I know. Thanks for that. <laughs> what I want you guys to note is the tag and the attachment of therefore said tag. So as the in, tag is on. Austin it's on. pulls the tag to look at the tag. He then gives me I've the got shoes. I've got shoes in my hand. Because the tag won't come out because of the belt. Right, you can see it's held on by string. It's attached. And you can see it's four ninety five. And correct? Then Austin just pulled it off, right? Right, I pulled it off. I did indeed. And now he tries to reattach the tag. Why do I do that, Bethany? We have been in this store before, and let's just say the manager of this store isn't our bestie. Um, we tried to buy a <laughs> pair of Birkin socks off her once, and they took about 20 minutes while I went and Googled the price because the price had come off the Birkin stocks. And it was a She didn't believe kerfuffle. me. She didn't believe me, did she? That's, so that's we the... tried to get the string back on. Because I knew that was going to be a problem. Um, no tags. You've seen Austin's hand the whole time. No tags have been also, added into the picture. The, he isn't a quick hand artist. But even if I was, the exact tag I'm holding there, which came off, which was the four ninety five, yeah, is exactly what these trousers. Anyway, talk about these trousers. Anyway, these are a sixties. They're actually a sixties tag, um, but actually the style, of the label, technically is more seventies. So I think it's like on the the cusp of both. So late sixties, early seventies. They're in pig suede, which sounds repulsive. And kind of is, I can't lie. But it's it's more no, it's of not. A they were amazing. Rough suede. Um, yeah. They're a size ten. They're pleated front. They come with the belt. Um, we haven't taken the belt off yet to see if the belt's branded, but I, we do mention it in the hall at the end. If you ever had, if you ever had a kind of a ninety eighties or nineties luxury in video commerce handbag, people like Gucci and um those kind of brands, they line their bags uh, with with this kind of skin, and it feels almost like a like a Rough. like a like a fake leather almost. Yeah. Um, these do have a little bit of distress in, however, they are full leather and they are vintage Saint Laurent. So for four pound ninety five, we thought they were priced according to um I I it, well they were a bargain for us, right? It appears to me that someone's tried to clean them. Yeah, and they it need, they left need spray marks. I was just gonna say they've got some marking for sure. But from the same they need dry cleaning, correct? It gives it a vibe. Yeah, I'm not gonna dry clean them. No, they need, I'm saying they need dry cleaning. They would benefit from a dry cleaning. But but I actually think the um the look of them, if you actually see them in the hall, like we just said, we do we do a hall at the end. If you see the hall later on, you'll understand what we're saying. It's kind of um I don't know, it gives a kind of a striped effect. It's anyway, kind of cool. It's a really exciting find. I'm really happy to have found them, and they're really amazing in that green color. Still trying to attach um, the tag. If they were mint condition, we'll talk about the prices at the end. But they would have been like a four figure trouser. So anyway, we we'll, we'll move on from these trousers. But something occurs at Till Point. And it was just, you know, I'm just going to say it was a bit of a sass moment. It was a well, bit of Sassarino. You, you'd, you'd actually gone next door um, because I was I was waiting in a queue for about I five, ten knew minutes. I it was going to be Sassarino's. And this is why, like, bear in mind, I, obviously I've looked at the store as well, but I'm, I'm over and above the fact there's a guy with a parrot in the store and that's no issue. Yeah. Um, th this, uh, this manager does, I think she uh, takes, um, what's the word? Takes, the Michael? Takes, it, no, takes issue with us, I guess you'd say. I just don't think she's very happy to celebrate that, which is absolutely fine. I completely Ooh. get now it. I now I dropped it and I'm like, okay. It's a bargain. It is for a bargain. Um, but once again, as resellers that's uh, and people that are just browsing the shop, if we weren't resellers, would you 
said it to a normal person. Anyway, we've left the audio in and you can listen and view for yourself. Enjoy. Enjoy the commentary to come. I'll take one. Okay, there's a... Yeah. That's broke there anyway. So, why not break them anyway? Because I need to feed out of them. Thank you. Oh, that came off there. Yeah. One thousand percent. Okay, that's fine. Would it be circular ninety five? Yep. When I actually pull, when I pulled this out of here, I pulled it through the thing and it caught on the belt. Okay. I pulled this through here. Vintage trousers at four ninety five. Good deal for you. It's an amazing deal. That's why that's, that's why I picked them. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. We got major sass from that. I mean, she even questioned you on the price, like. What did it say then? Four ninety five. Yeah, four ninety five. Also, she said four ninety five. No, you. That's a bargain. No, you got a deal or something like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like hang around on it too much. I don't wanna make it too negative. But like this is what uh, sometimes we 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 have to deal with as resellers. Mm. She knows what we do. I, um, I ain't moving tags. I ain't got time for that. Uh, I honestly, the, the amount of stuff we leave behind because it's inverted commas too expensive for us to resell. Yeah, I, I would change tags and everything. I would, I would, I would make much more money. I also wouldn't pick those trousers to change the tag on. I'll be honest. This isn't the goodwill, you know. The uh, goodwill, anywho, they switched the sticker labels on hard goods. But even the little smirk she gave, it was just you know, it was what it was. Talk about this. This is a Thierry Mugler. This is a second place piece of Thierry Mugler we found in this store so I suggested from the same person um, a year apart though um, this literally is, yeah it'd be about a year yeah the brown label indicates a 70s piece which is very early Mugler we will talk about it in more depth at the end of the video 100% silk we pay £12.50 um, it needs a dry clean it needs some love but we'll talk about it again but it would should fetch us about eight, 800 to 1000 Um, and we're not saying say, that, say that again say that again for, for the people listening Eight for eight hundred to a thousand pounds. And if you're interested to see why that dress will will uh, fetch that, like Bethany said, wait till the end and we do a haul and we explain everything you need to know about this Thierry Mugler Mugler dress. We are more excited than we sound. We are doing generally <laughs> very excited. It's been a long we, week, folks. But we've already filmed the end card. We've already filmed the end haul to this. So we've already talked about it. So it's like, like we're talking about it again. Yes, it is does indeed. Does that make sense? It's it does like indeed. A, yeah. I like the charge shop. It's a, it's a, it's a real um, dive. You've got, not, it's not a dive. That's You've harsh. Got, no, as in you have to look through. Dig, you, you mean, dig. like dig. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a dive. In actual fact, I will say, the lady in here, on the opposite side of the scale, the manager, is nice. always very, very nice. Yeah. And she was very welcoming. To so there you go. as well just because i know people will you know get ready for the comments um she knows we're a reseller in oh, that yeah. shop which she knows we're resellers so Indeed. it wasn't just a like a casual conversation there's been things as well that we've, we've gone through that shop before and, and actually we've picked up and i said oh there's no price on this and she'll say oh sorry that's not for sale i haven't checked it yet yeah, i'm yeah. like oh, okay cool but like it, it's it's a different vibe four pound 40 look it's at those morant at all um, which means star in French. Um, it is the diffusion line, as we mentioned a million million times. They are in a light blue denim. They're lovely. Wide leg, tie waist. They got but a pearl snap buttons. Four pound forty. Look at those. We're picking up a lot of high street brands at the moment. Higher end high street brands in terms of like cars and. Bread and butter stuff, yeah. Yeah, but based on style. So I don't like to pick up every single cos piece I find, for example. I like to find cos pieces that are in line with what they're selling at full price and what's in vogue. So like uh, high-waisted tailoring, like oversized pants. Um, a little bit of lager look, I find, is dripping into mainstream oh, I agree with that. It, oversized it, silhouettes. Even if you go into like uh, supermarkets, the fashion in supermarkets, you'll see that kind of layering kind of vibe. Those cotton pleated, like 80s style, like, you know, the suit pants. Yeah, yeah. Put on ladies. 
cropped nature so that's what i try and do so i try and keep up to date with what's happening in brands i like to pick up so like cos arquette yeah and other stories to a degree i, I it's a bit boho and i don't find i find that boho isn't the flavor of the month no is it yeah it's a little i, I agree with you on that it's it's it's, it's uh, i'm not going to be like that person so 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 a few years ago but it kind of is however they are pulling out some 90s silhouettes and other stories which obviously is really in like those 90s empire line baby doll dresses yeah so it just depends and so i like to keep up to date this is ob molly we didn't end up picking this because it had some discoloration around the neck it was area. it was worn yeah for sure um however i like picking up ob molly although boho like i just said boho is not the thing it has a cult following the brand yeah. is it's as a yes. thing it gives los angeles bohemian when Does we that well, make sense yeah exactly that so when we say like toasty toast yeah. like odd molly boho for odd molly is the exact same thing whereas work whereas for what it is to toast whereas brands like cars arquette they they, they move depending on the season and depending on what's the fire of the month. Do you know what I mean? Exactly that. These are heavy cotton uh, dicky shorts. Um, they're, they're kind of like they are obviously workwear or Dickies is workwear so to speak but these are definitely more like the stylish stuff as opposed to the things which you'd work wear on a building site wear skitter dude uh, dude anyway um, they got like a hook for your keys they have yeah. or, or like your, your, your chain you know the, like the, the yeah. kind of biker vibes slash your, your chain yeah, your, ch your chain your wallet and chain <laughs> I don't know why we're just going oh to... it's been oh, like I say the week's been it's been a hectic week guys um, we're going away for the weekend if anyone wants to know um, um, I think you're going to see if anyone wants to come. Anyone, if anyone wants <laughs> to come. join us. Um, we actually go once a year to, is it, where is it? West Wales. Well, yeah, West Wales. And we go, sort of go off the grid. But this is yep. the first time we've been really active in social media and going so we can off the grid. So I don't know if we can go off the grid. Look at your face. Like I that. know, it's pure disgust, like, isn't it? what are those? This is an All Saints cardigan. I would have fetched this for £7, um, but we do find later that the hems come away. So we, whereas it's a leopard print, there's like a stripe of, of, of cream white. Yeah, where yeah, the of print's white. been put on the knit. Does that make sense? Yeah, I just found on the mannequin body thing, um, a 2004... It's also mannequin. Oh. Yeah, that's exactly what you showed to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're discussing the thing and that goes back. Anywho, this is a Harley Davidson uh, shirt, official one. Made in the US of A. Factory tour. 2004, factory tour. Uh, shirt. I think it's like five, six quid. And great print was of a lovely, lovely, clean nature. How much would you expect to get from that? Mission? Several thousand, no. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> tw uh, anything from th uh, 30 to 40 pound. Crazy. If Do you know what? Like... The one thing I'll, I'll say about Holly Davidson shirts, if you've never found any in the wild, firstly, the bigger the better. That's small, so that sucks to start with. <laughs> but um, by the same token, um, like most of the small Holly shirts usually go to ladies, I can't lie. Um, but I'm not saying there are men who are small men who don't wear those shirts. I'm saying even a small man wears a medium or large. It's just a style. Do you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? These are some Waikou 2K trousers. These Austin are amazing. Really upset we didn't purchase these. Like, look at them. Look at them. Look, I can't even talk about the flair as well. They're Ted Baker. They were six pounds. The only, only reason we didn't purchase them. Because you're stupid. They were minuscule. They the were waist was small. Six. Yeah. And this was cool. This is the last thing that we show, I think, just so Austin knows, so he okay. knows when to stop talking. Um, That's a nicer colour of better. 90 Colours of Benetton. 90 Colours of Benetton vintage pieces do really well. I think that was a staff shirt. It was indeed. And I think that's quite cool in itself. Go back to the Harley thing. Just buy XL, 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 guys. <laughs> just a quick end to that video because we didn't realise how short it was. I am sunburned. So am I. It's not like my cheeks, though. My cheeks, fine. It's sunburned, right? But I've got I my forehead... It is sunburned, isn't it? My forehead. Yeah, it is. It is. I Whereas think. Yours is like consistently red. Mine's like patchy. Well, what happens when you have, when like you have kind of, um, an orange colouring? What happens is you go puce. Then it dies down. Then eventually it becomes a kind of a shade, some kind of shade of tan. At the, at the moment my face is on its way, my head isn't. It looks like I actually have hair. My head is so dark. Um, it was the boot cells yesterday which killed us off. Was it not? Yeah, I think today it's actually got worse. Anyway, this, these are the trousers that we spoke about. These are the, the lovely manager or lady. We won't talk about her again. We wanted to do a quick haul because you can so you can see the items in more clearly depthful ways. In depth. And because we picked up a few other pieces in different towns, but we just showed you one town. We do want to point out with these that I think someone has at some point in their life tried to clean them. So they do look a bit, um, what I would call... They're like mottled. But it's all over. 
so it sort of looks okay does that make sense it looks yeah, like it's a pattern yeah because there, there's no actual like even the suede you can see the different difference in color yeah like right through it almost looks like not tie-dye but like you can see the lines and there's lots of just like i would say distress bear in mind these they're not like suede as in buttery suede they're not they're supposed to be like that suede. they're pigskin suede which is like is firstly it's a lot rougher but it's also like you can hear it like suede would be like butter it's like it feels like cheap leather do you know what? Actually, that's, do you remind me of another lining from like nineties, eighties, nineties, like luxury handbags? Mm -hmm. Like yeah, that's what it would be. Mm. So this, these are Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. Um, they're like a, what I would call a balloon pants. They're pleated on the top and then they taper down. They're a hundred percent pig suede. Um, it comes with a leather belt. Actually, I think the leather yeah. belt's killer. The, I wonder if the belt's logoed in any way. Maybe I don't know. You know. Anyway, um, I'll find out as you talk. The label dates to 1960, 1970, late 60s, early 70s. It shows great characteristics of being 60s. However, the actual thing, I think the style of the pant is more 70s. Make sense? Yes, indeed. So. Anyway, like... so um, we paid for like four pound ninety five, and as you can see from both clips, we did not alter the tag. The tag was as it was. She was just, you know. You know when someone's like accusatory, but not, it's like passive aggressive. Very much so. And like, the, the, even the, after the kind of, we won't go into it now, I know, but like, even like when I'd taken the thing and shit, that's a very good price for you. For the 550 for vintage. Sad. It was, that's how much you wanted to charge me. Anyway, so, um, in this condition, obviously they're worth a little bit more, even though I think they're very still very much wearable and they still very much a, a great pattern. I think so. Um, if they were, if they were, um, hundred percent mint condition, they would probably be maybe a four figure. Um, they're not. Yeah, I agree. Um, so we're gonna go. I think I'm gonna put them up for three hundred and see where. Yeah, but like like you just said, by any stretch, these aren't mint. They're really cool, and for the right person, like like look at them. Like, even yeah, the, they're the, really the, cool. Even the fact that they have got these marks, I actually think it adds to. The, if it was any other, if they were like white, right, or like cotton, or like cream, they would look diabolical. Yeah. They would look horrific. But because it's kind of on this print, it almost looks like I don't know. It looks kind of like a tie dye. But anyway, I think they're cool, and they're still like like you say three hundred ish. Mm -hmm. Right from the, from another shop we went to just before the school run, I picked up this um, Sea Folly. We we'll put all the labels on uh, four pound fifty. We don't flip the camera just so everyone knows i know people will say flip the camera uh, because it would take so much longer to render and we try and put out daily content so when we you haven't do that, got it just, the time it just takes render. like two three four hours more this is one size um it's caftan and it's got tasseled um edges sea folly um varies in price i mean i picked up a lot of their bikinis last year that sold really well um i know they make a lot of stuff for uh they were making producing for tk maxx however this is a full price piece um, and it's very wearable um, too. so i'm going to aim for 35 to 40 for that one awesome Next up is another piece we picked up off camera. It's just a hush jumper, and I know we're out of season for hush jumpers, but it's still, you know, it's it's still Quite reasonably fun. cold in this country. This, what's, I don't know if you'll catch it on camera, but it's actually has gone and got a verb. No, you can't at all. Metallic it's got like a metallic kind of uh, thread through it. It's also got a pocket. It was too nice to leave. Okay. And for five pound, yeah, I agree. It's a size small, but it's oversized. Um, it is oversized. Yeah, five pound. We'll be putting it on uh, Poshmark uh, for a very. They had this in London for sixteen pounds. Hashtag London prices. Um, we obviously are in Somerset. Um, I will be putting that from in Posh on Poshmark for a really good price. If you want to send an offer, if you've seen this video, and you want to send an offer, please do. And you want to use your Poshmark credit arts, um, then we are very open to offers. Um, this is this was Harley the, Davidson. This was on the mannequin. They wanted six pounds, which they got. Um, is it factory tour? Uh, factory tour. Yeah, which is really cool. It's actually it's got the, the addresses there. It is a two thousand and four. Use. Um so near 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 vintage. <laughs> um it's also which is kinda of cool, um which not every single one of them are. Where is it? It's a small, but it's made in the US. So once again, like that does go for on Harley stuff. To be honest with you, we've been watching a lot of like vi uh, vintage sellers lately from the States, like me and both me and Bethany will love vintage. Um always have, but like some of the kind of washed out kind of holy vibes mm. at the moment. You may very well see them come into the whole... myself and Bethany soon. The vibe. I kind of, I think it's cool. This is wool. I wasn't, I was reluctant wool. to pick this up. Wool London is discontinued now. It's a size medium and it was £7.50. 
50. I've been finding a lot of wool recently that's been really expensive. It's a great Largan look brand, but you've got to look out for the Largan looky pieces. I don't think this screams Largan, but I think it has elements of Largan. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I think the colour and the fabric for me, if nothing else. It's a like, size... It's not, it's not, like, yeah, the, the colour, the cut, and the fabric, actually. It it's, does. It's a linen. It's a linen. Mm. It's, it's a linen blend. Eighty-eight percent linen, so it's majority linen. It is floral. It has a tie wrap as well. Uh, but it has a tie wrap. I thought it was nice. Maybe a light cover up for summer or like a holiday or. Oh, this was a really good ratchet. A cruise. Was this on camera? I'm gonna try and find this dress. I think I feel like uh, someone has worn it. Uh, this wasn't on camera. This is a goat. 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 And now Jane. I don't get it either. Uh, but there, this is a size 8, but it has this really bold floral print. It was £10, itch. It was £10, um, but I know Kate Middleton's very famous for wearing goat dresses, especially florals. So I'm going to see if she wore it. If she wore it, it's a bonus feature. Um, but I think it's it's quite like Mother of the Bridey. Do you know what? I, I'll go as far as I actually say, think it's a vibe. I think but... I think it's a real vibe. The annoying thing for me is like um, because you see a lot of printed dresses nowadays from like even from high end high streets, unless you hold them or feel them or or I guess wear them, it's it, it's sometimes hard to tell the quality on this dress. The feel it's of the so quality good. is insane in comparison. Retail to like, would have been three to four hundred. I know now that's they're what I'm to say. now they're like seven hundred bucks for a dress, pounds for a dress. Jane, I watch a lot. Jane, she is taking a mic. I'll put. Both I mean, she's a goat in fairness. <laughs> Ten pounds size eight. Um, what was I going to say about it? You're going to try and find out if Kate Middleton wore something similar or it. If if she didn't wear it, 120, 150. If she did wear it, then a push a bit more, 175, 200. Great. On that one. Well, wow, these are really nice. But these were on camera. We didn't show. We showed them briefly. These are Isabel Morant et al. Et al. I always say et al. I get told off. Pocket drawstring shorts. Denim, wide, denim. wide leg, and they've also got pearl snap buttons on the back. Probably it's just perfect time of year for these shorts. These shorts were made for this time of year. I'm so happy we found them, and I think that's how really quick. Yes, they are. Um, I'm kind of a detail freak, like things like that. They I'm, must work. I'm gonna go for hundred pound. I think they're amazing. I think they. Do you know what? You could wear them if you were. What size are these? You could wear them if you're this size, or you could wear them if they're like, seriously oversized and just <laughs> what? What size are they? They're a forty, so I think that's like a ten, twelve. Right. They're called the Mar Mar Maris 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 Marius Marius. What, what I was saying was you could um you could like you paper could, bag it like you know what I mean. I've got a funny story about oversized shorts. Which I'll tell you another day. Maybe we'll I mean, make a video on it. I think on that's dealing cool. with Depop. Oh, that's really yeah. We maybe we'll do Instagram or something on it. A video might be interesting. It's how to deal with things. But we've got we we've had we had a um we tried to have some return something which was for, for a, a fraudulent return a fraudulent return um for D, uh, for a Depop sale we had literally like we did we dealt with the fraudulent return about an hour ago. If you want us to uh, do a video on it or you'd be interested remotely in seeing that, put a comment down below and say we want to see a Depop beef or how to or deal with but, Depop. Yes returns or yeah um, like that. i think this is a good one because it wasn't it's not an average joe kind of day it was and a random it, one but it's but also you, not a weird return reason is it was a sizing reason like it they didn't fit basically which is all, i won't talk about now but i'm saying it wasn't a like not as it wasn't oh, like no. a, there was a mark on it or, or, it or was, they were oh, they were necessarily lying it was just really really just well it, it's quite it, a ah. generic return but it's how to deal with depot's back end which i know is famously hard to deal with sucks I was about these. These are dicky shorts, but they're like skater ones, not like farming ones. So these, like these, are kind of the um, what do you call them? Cargo. Uh, uh, cargo shorts. They're kind of utility workwear. I'm just about ready to put these over your head. Cotton. Um, these the, you get a lot of dickies, obviously the workwear, but these are um, they are workwear. Of course, they are. I have been dickies makes his workwear, but these are more the fashion based style. If you want, they've got like a um, hook for your stuff. Yeah. So a lot of the like a lot of the more we have we have sold those in the past as well. A lot of the more. Uh, actual workwear style as opposed to a uh, workwear shorts as opposed to the style uh they have like extra belts and they have extra safety inside these are literally just kind of cotton shorts um but these are very like they're very very uh fashionable i guess right now skatery um it's a cool vibe i think cargo is going to be like be become big again how much do you pay how much do you want i paid nothing they were free 
No, we paid four pound fifty. And once again, I'll probably put these. Going on. For th they'd be going for twenty five, thirty quid. These won't be on Poshmark because I'm not putting sort of lower end brands on Poshmark. I'm putting high end, high, street, high end, high street, and high end brands. I'm not putting any what I call Austin stuff, which is like vintage menswear. No, mainly. Um, but if anyone's interested in them, let me know. But I might, we might shove them in one of our Poshmark lives. I think it'll be interesting to see how people, how people enjoy it, how people don't enjoy it, how people just swear at us. So yeah, cool. These are from. Oh, you say it. Right. Chai. Chai Mahara. Ma, Mahara. Chai Mahara. We'll put the logo up there. Um, these are size six. They're a sandal, wedge sandal, um, leather lined, leather frill at the front. Uh, these are They're very so expensive. Well made. I just sold a pair of actual um, shoe shoes with toes, <laughs> like a little booty, yep. with the same frill on the front. Okay, yes, you did. Yes, you did. 110 for those. These are um, nicer. These are nicer. Much nicer. Paid £8.75, and I'm going to try for that 110 mark again. I'm going to say as well, this leather is like butter. high end clothes. Butter. Say butter. butter. It's butter. Butter. And last but not least, and the that reason we're here is this. So. For anyone who it's may main event. have been watching our videos since the beginning of time, may have seen that we picked up a Thierry Mugler. I want to see like a second or third video. Yep, in Glastonbury. And in exactly the same shop, we got another piece. And this is the same label. And I want sparkles. to talk about it. Hold the label up while I talk about it in a minute. Terry Moogler became very popular. Hang on, whoa, 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 let's roll that back. Was that remote attitude you were giving me there? Yes, major. Okay. You need to clarify. Uh, t Moogler became really fashionable in the 80s and 90s, particularly the 90s. H&M have relaunched a collaboration with him. Well, Obviously, um, he passed this year, last year. Um, however, this label, please show the label again, with the dark brown and gold. It's this, also got to be like about foil glittery gold. This predates the 80s collections. Um, and this can be dated through, obviously, research and uh, history um, as a 1970s label. Now, 1970s is when um, Moogler was just starting up his namesake brand um, after his training, etc. and so forth, working for other companies. Um, and very much like the other skirt we picked up with the same label, which would lead me to believe that this lady purchased multiple items from his first collection now oh, the reason that we worked worked in and around that yeah the reason we can date this to his first collection is the sim very same as the other skirt so on the inside labels which i'm going to find i was just trying to find them for you to kind of give you a heads uh, up but once again disappeared i was looking at them in the video so we've got to find them they are here somewhere oh where are they where did you put them Hang on. Just hang it and see what it looks like. Should I do a musical interlude? Yeah, give us a give I us found a song. them right. Give us a song. Oh, I want to do a so, song. So, on this label, it's the same as saying, so it's 100% silk, believe it or not. It feels like cotton. <laughs> it does. And what it says here is a Norma Legge N883. And then it has a date on it. So it has the 26th. The 26th of the 11th, 1973, which was the year and and time period of Thierry Mugler's very first collection. Now, well, last time I showed one of these labels, um, a nice lady commented and said that sometimes the fabric is dated. Um, sometimes, or like the production is dated. Uh, but considering that Thierry Mugler's very first collection was 1973, 74, uh, season of it would be very unlikely uh, that I, it was also, anything but that i also think any high end garment relevant of era specifically when i'm talking i'm not talking like the 20s when I mean, i'm talking about like in the last kind of like 60s 70s 80s from up until now those labels would be removed you, you don't see you don't see um if, if labels are production labels you don't see production labels of materials because it's irrelevant for the garment do you see what I'm saying? So this is dated basically to the first year of Tierra Mugler's production. Um, during this time period, he really focused on military-esque uh, type items. And that's why you'll see the common thread between this and the other skirt of these sort of like, you can see it has a can work wear yeah. look to it. Uh, the high pockets, and this echoed through years and years of his work. This uh, using basic item to look, you can just using basic things like pockets and accentuating like a womanly shape using fabric instead of you know 
accentuating the shape of a human form, basically. Yeah, because that, that you, like you go back to that like skirt. That skirt was very similar. The, 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 the whole thing was based around yeah. that kind of vibe. And even he's just done. Uh, he, they just done the collection with uh H&M which is the iconic uh, like mesh see-through dress Even but the, the use look. of the wave is accentuating the figure you have that military kind of vibe like here the shoulders but it also over accentuates that shape and you've got shoulder yeah. pads yep. to make it real one of his most famous pieces is very high shoulder pads it's also belted anyway, just just so you know it's a very delicate piece it's from the 70s it's from uh the first year of his existence i won't say first collection because it wasn't featured on runway and, and there isn't it. a huge amount of documentation around this time however it was most likely produced in within his first year this the, piece is getting dry cleaned i was just gonna say this this piece like on camera kind of looks total like well just like it looks like what it is at the moment this is gonna get dry cleaned it's gonna get steamed and even like just like the era this kind of coloring right now there's discoloration on this but if you look at all the seams all the seams have this kind of coloring that only comes from patina and age um no because they're inside seams so even from the outside it would be hard just to do that with sun fade so all these seams inside all of them they all end up the same color mm -hmm. and that just gives you an idea roughly if you can see if i'm making a tall yeah these uh, even though they're inside they all run through the same color which means just age has got to them so it's a, it's a good thing as regards we being able to age it more so. Once dry cleaned, um, I have the skirt on for a grand at the moment. Yep. Um, once dry cleaned, I'd aim again for that eight hundred to a grand mark. Although this is a dress and the skirt's a skirt, the skirt really showcases uh, form and structure and shape. That. Whereas this being in silk is much more of a relaxed fit. Even it's also point, straight up and down. Even isn't it? the points that are meant to be exaggerated, once on a body, it will drape to a certain degree. Obviously, it has shoulder pads as well. Um, yeah. The shoulders really bring up. If you hold the shoulders at the tippy tip with the pads in mm. you can see how exaggerated the shoulder is yeah so once again this isn't like a shoulder pad like as in you had in the 80s where it would just kind of make you look taller it this way it out. actually it comes right around here this is like do you see what i'm saying it's the so it comes right round. so it's, it's to make you look like you have not only shoulders for shoulder pads but goes right round. would it be the top of your arm yeah. so it's, it's more than a shoulder pad that's what i'm trying to get across anyway it's a very 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 special piece and i'm so happy to have found two 12 pound 50 paid um expected back eight to a thousand i would also say yeah, eight to a thousand right okay so i would also say as well we mentioned earlier that we think it was the um per, maybe per, person or persons who bought from us at the first or second or, or relatively early collections um or like as, as i said maybe if someone who worked with him or close to him or whatever it would be the reason i say that is we've been doing this a long time we've been to paris we've been to america we've been to uh, loads, loads of parts of europe we've been to uh, all of the uk like we've done this for so long with luxury i'm saying right even before we started well before we started youtube even before we had a shop so from our point of view to find those two pieces in the exact same place in the exact same shop even oh, maybe a year or two, uh, two but uh maybe about a year apart there's just like the 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 the, the law of averages tell you that, that that can't happen unless that's the same person no and for anyone it. saying like i like and oh, you haven't sold the skirt or anything like that I'm not gonna sell a skirt overnight. <laughs> it's not. It's not. That's not a thing. I just sold an uh, uh, Alberta Ferretti dress. I had it two years. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. It, it sold with postage for nine hundred pounds. So I'd rather wait you... two years. It takes up no room. I can keep my business moving with other biz, uh, <laughs> bread and butter pieces and with cash flow. Oh, if your true. business cannot um sacrifice twelve pound fifty for a long haul item then we maybe you know what? it's quite funny business. because a few people asked this a few people mentioned the comments and a few people matched just directly how like because for example the brand sometimes will sell for like 30 40 pound right that that brand we're talking about uh, um a bit of fretty but the funny thing was that uh, not all of them but some people who are asking like so like what, what makes it so special how did you get that price wow it's amazing prices and which it was which we were obviously both very proud of and happy with but the key there would be what we talk about the whole time what we talk about on podcasts what we talk about on a thousand videos bethany just said it, we're not waiting oh god we're gonna get 800 pound or we're gonna get 500 pound or we're gonna get 200 pound it cost us 12 pound this one for example cost us 12 pound right it can sit there for five years uh, it name name an investment you can put 12 pound in today and even in five years time get think of it five like six seven hundred there's not one not like that like stocks and shares 
But it think of it like a painting. But that just can go up and down. That will never go down. I it think will just be the right owner to buy it. Because we move and, uh, as resellers, move stock so continuously and things like that, we forget about long haul items a little bit. And of we're so desperate for the next thing to come along or so, like, to be moving and changing. If you put £12 into stocks and shares and in, in, in an ISA and it hits a thing and you make £500 in three years, you, you'd be with the moon. It wouldn't have. Uh, well, well, uh, and it so, takes up no room in your More life. so for an initial, uh, initial kind of outlay of twelve pound, it doesn't happen. Uh, so what I'm saying is, um, when 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 people do ask or say, you know, I, I, I'll say something as well. We had multiple offers for like four or five, and uh, nearly I think it was like five and a half was one of the top offers before we got this offer, which we could have just been like, we paid next to nothing for it. Boom. I actually think the item was free in a bundle well, by the time we finished. It's free, but it, we, it's, sold, sold. it's sold because it's award seasons. It's going to the States. It's sold for a particular reason and for a particular event and for a particular person. And unfortunately, wouldn't it be lovely if everyone was a size 6 and... It was a size 10, actually. But everyone was a size 10 and needed a see-through ball gown. It just doesn't yeah. happen every day. I, I would also say, not like listen, not every piece is like that. And not every piece you'll find will be one of those. By the same token, if you can get enough, like you just said, of bread and butter, but also kind of, even if they're luxury pieces, which you can kind of get in, get out um, without sacrificing margins, obviously, do that. Put that one on the shelf. Let it go. We, we, we've got probably about, I reckon, 12, 15, Tom, uh, maybe even more than that, Tom Ford Gucci pieces, which they I appear price wise. They appear. That's what we want to, that's what we want to attain. They're not even listed yet. They just sat there because what, for what they cost us. And what they will eventually go to, even more so now. Like I think Kim the other day had the um, Kim Kardashian had the Gucci Tom Ford um, she had new the thong, one, yeah. the thong uh, uh, pants yes. or dress. Yeah. So either way, we've got like two pairs of those uh, original ones, mind you. Um, so nineteen ninety eight runway. It's just one of those things that when we when we this is a classic example of where where what we tell you and what we think um, the best way to go about some of these pieces works it's just patience and sometimes people don't want to wait that's what it is simple well we found some really good things today we had a an interesting uh, scenario with a shop manager and we <laughs> met a parrot so you know it's all in a day's work isn't it if anyone wants to know how interesting our lives are parrot life um i did look particularly rough in today's video so excuse it for today i don't know what it yesterday was yesterday was a hell of a day i just i reproached the footage what? and thought whoa i need some dehydration some hydration we went to a boot sale yesterday uh actually we went to yeah we did two boot sales yesterday didn't film didn't film at all no we didn't film at all um we have got a video with coming we picked up a louis vuitton bag and some other bits so we'll do a haul maybe with those bits going forward sir yes sir over and out bye